Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Rahul and in this video we'll be looking at a challenge called Secure Session. So it is a part of 244, 247 CTF challenge. So this is a website that provides you with a bunch of CTF challenges and this is available for you to play at any time. So feel free to go to the website. So the challenge description says that if you can guess our random secret key, we will tell you the flag securely stored in your session. So it gives you a hint about the session. But before all of this, let us just hop on to the challenge. So this is the IP address for the challenge. And as you can see, it is importing OS, flask and flag. Now it's a, if it says flask, then and if there's something called Jinja 2, then you can look for server side template injection. Now what server side template injection is you can look for I have already made a video on that. So you can go ahead and watch it. But there was no such thing as Jinja involved. So let's just drop uh, server side template injection over here. So it says that import OS. And there's a file called flag and it is importing flag from there. So as you can see, these are just the configuration part. And it is saying to configure a secret key with a random value. So for example, if I were to type in Python 3 and if I were to type in import OS and print OS dot u random 24, you can see that I get this value. But if I were to just type in the same thing again, you can see that I get a diff completely different value. So there is no way I'm going to guess this value. So only thing if you want to guess this, you can all the only thing you can try is called brute forcing. So now just look at the main function first. So now it says if you go to the flag direct slash flag directory, which I'll be going here right now, you can see that it says incorrect secret key. So now let's see, let's look at the configuration. It says that secret key is equal to secret key to int. So this is going to be our function. And you have to pass in a argument, which is called the secret key. Okay. So if you go to the slash flag directory, you have to pass in a, an argument called the secret key. Now that argument will be passed to this function called the secret key to int. Now, if you look at this function, what this is trying to do is if it is able to convert this value, the secret key, whatever I pass in there, if it is able to convert it to int, so it will return me that value in integer in integer form. But if it does not, then the secret key automatically becomes zero. So let me just show it to you right now. So flag and let's just pass in the argument. So secret key is equal to one. So as you can see, it says incorrect secret key. So what might have happened in the background is that it, it took this part. Now this is in the string format. It took it and it converted to int and it might have checked with the internal secret key. Now, as you can see, what it does is it is comparing whatever I pass in to the random value that is generated by the computer internally, as you can see from here. So it took it generated a random value. It stored in it in the secret key value. And now it is comparing that value with the value that I pass in. Now, as you can say that I will the only way that I have is through brute forcing or using some something leaked information about the next value that it might produce. But there is no way that I can do it as of now. So what I did here was I just look at the source code and I uh, switch to, to the developer option and I just clicked on the refresh button. And as you can see, this is the part that I get. So if I were to go to the cookie section, you can see that I get a session to cookie. Now it might be hinting at this. So if I were to just copy it, you can see that the challenge description was hinting to get to the session value value. So if I have to type in, as you can see, this is supposed to be a, as um, I think it is a flask session cookie. Yes, as you can see, it is flask. So it is a flask session cookie. So let's just say import base 64 because they are base 64 encoded. And let's just print base 64 dot b 64 decode. Now you can also try a uh, cyber chef, which is an online free utility to decode this. Okay. It says incorrect padding. So let me just copy it out. Let's just go to cyber chef. I think I'll have to deal with the coding padding. 
and let me just paste it from base 64 now as you can see it says flag this so let me just copy it again and let me just paste it over here so as you can see i get the flag right over here so thank you guys this is the video